college courses will be starting soon, and a really big part of that journey is navigating school costs and also financial aid. Yeah, it can be a stressful time, but beware. 13 Action News anchor Trisha Keen has a warning when it comes to applying for grants and scholarships. It can be overwhelming. It's very tedious. You know, I've, I've narrowed down which scholarships fit best for me and that I think I'm a good applicant for. UNLV student Kaylee Bauman is working on a bachelor's degree in interior architecture and design. Like so many college students, she says financial assistance is the only way she can afford school. Without grant scholarships, financial aid, there's it probably wouldn't be possible. But she worked hard to find the help she needed. Narrowing down like what specific organiza organizations and companies within the industry and picking up the phone and actually having real conversations. Unfortunately, financial aid scams, student loan repayment scams, they are everywhere. Elaine Rubin is director of Corporate Communications and Advisors. It's a free online resource for finding information about how to pay for college. Elaine says, just like Kaylee, do your research because plenty of unscrupulous resources are trying to get their hands on your personal information. Bank account information, credit card information, or even common credentials, things like your FSA ID, which you might have used to complete your FAFSA. To protect yourself, watch out for three major red flags. Number one, any fees associated with getting financial aid. If someone's asking you for money to get a grant or a scholarship, you really want to proceed with caution, if not stay away completely, because it could be a scam. Number two, beware of offers that guarantee funding. Most of the time, if you're applying for a scholarship or a grant, you have to meet eligibility criteria, you have to apply, and then you have to see what your chances are to actually earn that. And number three, beware of any cold contact that isn't addressed to you specifically. Legitimate resources will already have some of your basic information. In the end, Elaine says, if you think you've shared too much information with the wrong people, be sure to put a freeze on your credit. And the Federal Trade Commission is actually taking reports of these scams, so you want to report it with them. As for Kaylee, she has a word of encouragement for anyone still looking for ways to pay for college. I've applied for so many scholarships and not been the one chosen. But just don't get discouraged. Don't compare yourself to the other applicants because everybody is chosen for different reasons. So there's, there's one better out there for you. For 13 Action News, I'm Trisha Keen. And we'll have a lot of those tips up on our website as well.